All right, guys, back at it again. Happy Monday, by the way. Um, and today's quote is, it is better to have an enemy who honestly says they hate you and to have a friend who's putting you down secretly. Uh, now, with that is, it's just simply, for me, means holding a grudge does nothing for you. It, it really does. If anything, you know, holding a grudge against someone always weighs you down in the end. And it does not benefit you, nor does it benefit the other person. So sometimes, um, it takes a lot more strength to forgive someone than to, to stay angry at them. You know, if you... you it's it's easy to stay angry at someone because you can tell yourself that you know this person is this or this person is this but in reality what does it do for you you know what does it do for you so um, with my take on that is I had okay so my example was that in high school I had a, I had a person who I truly truly did not like and I was very judgmental, you know, I admit that 100%. I was very judgmental, um, basically judged him on appearance, you know. It, it sounds really bad, you know, because that's so judgmental and that's such a bad trait to have. And Sorry, guys. <laughs> so what I did was one day um, I gave it a shot, you know. I, I had mutual friends with this guy and um, we hung out because we hung out with certain people and they all collided and we all hung out together and before we knew it we were best friends and we were brothers now his name is Kevin Tran you've seen him in my old videos back in the past and I told myself that you know back in the day um, I don't know why I hated this person I really don't know why I had no reason to you know it was specifically just for appearance you know that sounds terrible it sounds like I was a bully or something but the truth was there was no there was no reason and I gave him a shot and he was he's one of my closest friends to date and all it takes sometimes guys is to just let it go it's not worth it it really isn't you know just look back look back on your days and look back on the people right now that are in your life and the people that <clears throat> you don't like you know um, Maybe you give it a shot and maybe that person really does not work out for you in life and, and at least you tried, you know, at least you gave it a shot and you know what it was supposed to be. So you never know until you try guys, so let it go, you know, let it go and, and just be open minded. Um, the second half is, you know, just having a friend who puts you down secretly. Guys, that's not a friend. You know, secretly, he, he's a person in your life that you consistently call your friend who always talks crap about you, who always judges you on everything that you do and tells you nothing but bad things. He, he's, he's poisoning your life. He or she is poisoning your life and let it go. <laughs> let it go. You know, it's just one of those people who does not belong. One of those people who don't belong in your life, you know. So I'm going to leave it with that, guys. The people in your life or the people you don't like in life, give them a shot. You never know what's going to happen. Leave you with that. Let's get started with the workout. I can't win. I can't rain. I will never win this game without you, without you, without you, without you, without you, without you. I am lost, I am vain, I will never be the same without you, without you, without you, without you, without you. Alright, so Tim's, we're doing our workout. Tim is actually doing his 100 rep squat challenge and uh, Tim's one rep max, projected one rep max a long time ago was 315 so he's working with 205. His last 10 reps over here to cheer him on. We know how hard it was. Let's go. 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 Let's
pretty good form. Eh. But uh, Tim's name is hereby on the list. So let me get that marker real quick. You erase the name. We got right here. Tim. Fuck, you did 365? Oh, five. He did 365. I will run. I will fly. I will never make it by without you. Without you. I can't rest. I can't fight. All I need is you and I without you. Alright guys, finally finished cardio, um, 275 calories burned, took me approximately 24 and a half minutes, 24 minutes, and um, definitely kicking things up a notch, I want to get shredded, and today I woke up with a super low weigh-in, um, surprisingly, um, especially after my refeed, I usually wake up a little bit heavier on my refeed, or the day after my refeed, um, but woke up at 160. 0.4 pounds, which is great because that is a new low weigh-in during this entire prep, and um, definitely paying off. I'm looking a lot leaner. Um, hopefully, you guys can tell in the videos. I'm trying to, trying to stay consistent with it. So that's that. I'm gonna stretch a little bit before I go home, and then go eat hungry. So just cooked up some pasta. Super excited to eat. I'm hungry. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, so here is tonight's dinner. I have two and a half servings of the pasta shells, nine ounces of 96.4 beef, two servings of Alfredo sauce, 140 grams of mushrooms, and two handfuls of spinach, accompanied by Diet Mountain Dew. Gonna enjoy this dinner, eat a little bit of snack, do some editing, and call it a night. So, um, Jess and I are actually going to go to the rodeo with some friends tomorrow, so we just talked on the phone, and I'm actually going to work out in the morning. Hopefully that goes well. <laughs> um, apparently we're supposed to meet up at the gym at 6 o'clock, so we'll see what happens. But good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow at the gym. Good morning, guys. It is bright and early. Well, not bright, but it is very early, and I haven't been to the gym this early in a very, very long time. Uh, but you know, it's all good. We just and I have plans today to go um, to the rodeo, which is like a thing here in Texas that it's like a really big thing with like a uh, uh, livestock show and everything like that. So there's a concert that we're going to. So. I had to go to the gym, so I'm meeting up Jess early in the morning to go to the gym. And starting off today with another quote. Rise up, start fresh, see the bright opportunity in each new day. Every day is a new day, guys. You know, whatever happened yesterday, it already happened. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing that you can get back from it. You know, you Maybe you learn from it and everything like that. However, you can't live in the past. Every single day gives you a new opportunity to do something different, to make something of yourself, to do something that you haven't done. You know, stop living in yesterday. Today is what matters. 
Um, so many times people fear things that don't even exist. You guys can't think about you can't you can't think about that. <laughs> you can't. You have to just seize the moment, guys, because tomorrow is not promised. You never know what's gonna happen today. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So live every moment as if it were going to be your last. Let's begin the workout. All right, so a little bit of voiceover on back day. Now I kind of, <clears throat> I finally found the, I guess my favorite back movements and obviously back is my favorite group to train, hence it is the strongest. And uh, I'm really fond of these moments lately, um, these movements lately. I've been doing pretty much the same staples. I've been doing the T-bar rows, obviously the first movement. Then I've always moved on to dumbbell rows, my staple. I've been doing it for the longest. It's been working the best for me. And at that angle, you know, you see me pulling not straight up and down, but um, at an angle. So to kind of diagonal works best for me. So um, next is these cable rows, which I am very, very, um, I'm liking very much lately because it's like it requires both hands and a lot of stability and um, it's a great contraction and a great stretch obviously you can see the activation in the back and then the next one has been these reverse grip penlay rows in which I really like it takes the tension away from the lower back while maintaining a power movement so that is pretty much my staple so far with the back movements. Usually I do one or two pull downs, but that's pretty much it. And then I'd go on to these face pulls and uh, I do these on a seated cable row. So there's pretty much no momentum. And as opposed to putting my feet on the pads, I put them on the floor. So use my core definitely a lot more. And then obviously for, for biceps, which I don't really like to train that much, I just do uh, supinating dumbbell curls and then sometimes a hammer curl or a preacher curl nothing too fancy you know just keeping it basic keeping it heavy and um, training to a rep range where I'm kind of maintaining the strength as best as possible and uh, that was it for this workout so I hope you all enjoyed this and please enjoy the rest of the video we are at IHOP with these two lovely ladies Jackie and Jess, <laughs> and we're enjoying this breakfast. I haven't eaten IHOP in months, and I haven't uh, worked out at 6 a.m. in like over a year, so <clears throat> felt a little different today. Felt kind of good, but I know this feeling is not gonna last, especially like during the day. I'm gonna be a little bit tired, but Jess and I have some plans tonight, and we didn't want us or she didn't want me to skip out on the workout because I'm prepping. So that's what's going on right now. Gonna enjoy these pancakes and have an egg white element coming right out. Guys, we're here at the rodeo. Lights, camera, action, super bright. Here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo with Jess and our two friends, Christy and Ben, who uh, we were at their house for the pokey. And we're here now at the rodeo. First we're gonna go to the carnival and play some games and stuff like that, and then we're gonna go watch a concert. Uh, so hungry. Today's low day, so I don't have too many carbs to play around with, but we'll see how I hold up. I am so hungry right now. So right now it is truly mind over matter. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. And I know that if you guys live in Texas or anything like that, you know what the rodeo is about. You know that there's big portions of food, super greasy and fried food. That's what it is. But, um, yeah. Let's see what's up. Turkey your legs with that big Texas taste. You see right there is uh, Jessica's dinner that she paid $22 for. She's super pissed off about super small portions, but it's kind of how they get you here. They kind of overcharge everything. 
That's how they make the money, guys. But I'm over here with uh, just a diet coat, trying to stay shredded. That's how you know you're in Texas, guys. You got a boot barn, cowboy boots everywhere. A little show going on. And of course, I got cowboy boots as well, guys. So does Jess. And yes, I do own a pair of cowboy boots. Obviously, Jess bought them for me, but um, I, I wear them, you know, from time to time. It's not, here it is, guys. Check this out. Boom. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> wow, isn't there some cross between a donkey and, a, and, a, and like a cow or like a bull or something? <laughs> look at their ears, look! They're so cute! No. They look like my little baby. Ah, it's so cute. Y'all, everyone in Texas has cowboy boots. Even if they're Asian. <laughs> This is, check this out, guys. We're at a cultural shock here, guys. <laughs> What's going on? We're at the petting zoo now. Check this out. Selfie. Boom! Hey, hey, hey. Oh man, this guy's like taller than me. It's the most awful in here. This is so fun. Oh, Alright, all right, I'm coming for this guy. <laughs> hey babe, grab someone. I don't know who to grab. I feel like they're gonna attack me. <laughs> I like this little pig though. Oh my God. Here we go, here we go! If I die, 
Make sure you like this video! Here we go, here we go. Woo! Let's go, baby. Oh, you ready? Let's do this, baby. All right, here we go. All right, one. Here's the dip. Here's the dip. Here we go. Here's the drop. Here's the drop. <laughs> Guys, home now, and I am starving. So late, it is about midnight right now, and finishing off my macros with uh, French toast, uh, kind of like a sourdough bread, some kimchi, chicken breast, and my drink choice, the one that I always make. Um, this is the dinner, and it was, I gotta say it was extremely hard to not eat at the rodeo because I'm a huge sweet fan, and there's nothing but like sweets and everything like that, but uh, the end goal is definitely worth it. Sorry if I sound a bit tired, but I am. Been up since like five today, so um, I'm gonna finish this and head to bed, so see you all tomorrow. Good night.